Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to connect to a VPN using OpenVPN and the Network Manager GUI or GUI on Ubuntu 20.04. Now this will also work on uh, 18.04 and 16.04. Uh, There's just a preliminary step you have to take which is to install the GUI uh, which you type in sudo apt install network dash manager dash open VPN dash Y alright so just if you're on 1804 or 1604 just go ahead and do that first before you continue and then you'll have the the GUI to uh, follow the guide okay so another preliminary step for all versions is that you'll need to uh, download the certificate file the CA certificate from your VPN provider uh, now if you go to the help or support section on their website they're usually available to download um, and obviously you want the one for OpenVPN but <clears throat> they, they generally apply to all different uh, protocols so uh, once you've downloaded that then we can begin uh, top right hand corner we go to the network icon there and then we go to settings and you'll see there under VPN not set up so we just click the plus sign there and then click open VPN okay so the first thing we do is we name our connection so I'm just going to call this BT guard uh, and the gateway the gateway can be a URL or an IP address so it can be uh, something like this or a URL which is what I'm going to put in which is the um, BT Guard Singapore server because I'm in Australia so it'll be sgvpnbtguard.com uh, okay now uh, obviously that your, your provider may be different um, or will be different so they'll have a list of servers you can connect to on their website probably in the help section too uh, now authentication type we want to change that to password and then you'll see down the bottom there CA certificate so we want to click that on and choose the uh, certificate that you just downloaded from your VPN provider and next we enter username and password right so I've entered my username and password there and that's pretty much it unless your VPN provider specifically wants you to change any settings you're safe to leave them at default at defaults and then just click the add button so once you've done that we just toggle the uh, VPN connection here uh, so we can turn it on there and then top right hand corner you should see that little temporary icon turned to VPN a solid VPN and that tells you that you're connected okay so it's pretty straightforward uh, it's a lot easier than the old way the old way which I've got a guide on as well you had to use the command line and um, uh, the, the certificate files were in different locations and it was all pretty messy uh, this is a much better way to do it. So any questions or comments leave them below and I'll catch you next time guys. Cheers.